Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this Asana review and demo, we're going to be walking through the top five reasons you should be using Asana to manage your business and make sure you deliver all of your client work on time. Make sure you check out the links in the description to a timestamp table of contents, along with some other helpful videos to keeping you organized, including a video on exactly how our team uses Asana to make sure videos go out on time and client work is always delivered when it's supposed to. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into my screen here and I'll walk you through these top five things. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the My Tasks section. Now, there are four main sections here, new tasks today and later, and as I open each one of these up, what's great is everything that is assigned to you on all your projects and all your tasks, even if you have multiple organizations or you have multiple clients who use Asana, everything is right here on this page. It's very, very powerful. So when something's initially assigned to you, which happens a lot for me, it'll show up in new tasks and I'll be easily be able to click through and see the details of what needs to be fixed if there's anything that's been attached, as you can see here, there's a file that's been attached. It's very easy. It integrates with Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, and I'm sure there's there's a much long, longer laundry list of things that it integrates with. You can, of course, click and drag files directly to the individual tasks. But what I really like about this is we can click and drag it and to say, okay, we're going to work on it today, or we can come over here and mark it for upcoming or later. So if I mark it for upcoming, maybe it's going to be done tomorrow, I can scroll down to the upcoming section and you'll see that account access has now been moved to upcoming. Now something that I've personally done inside of my upcoming section is I've created Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because what Asana does in this is anything that's due within a week will automatically show up in your upcoming section so it's very easy to see what tasks you have on deck so you can easily plan your week. So I'll scroll back up here, you can see account access is due tomorrow, so I'll take care of it tomorrow. I'm recording this on a Tuesday, so I'll click and drag and create it for, say that I'm going to take care of it on Wednesday. And you can actually create as many unlimited of these as you want, so maybe you don't wanna be super granular like I am. We can just go and delete this, and now upcoming is just a laundry list of upcoming. If I want to create another section in my upcoming section, I can say Monday and then use a semicolon, and now it is a section. Now this My Task page is probably the number one reason that I think you should switch to Asana because it just makes it so easy to see everything that's assigned to you in one place. If you're more of a visual person, you can click on calendar and then use the calendar view to easily see everything that has been assigned to you ends up coming. And of course you can click and drag around the calendar so you can change your due dates. So that does it for the My Task section and how to create subsections in there so you can really stay organized with everything that you're working on. Now number two comes to the Trello killer and this is something where you can now actually have the ability to create boards inside of Asana just like you can with Trello. So I just pulled up an example here. I personally don't use boards. I'm not a very visual person. I like the long to-do list but as you can see from this example you pretty much have all of the functionality you would have in Trello inside of Asana. So what's also really great is you can actually have the same task inside a board like this and inside of a list as well. So if you have people on your team who like seeing it visually like this or you have people on your team who'd rather have it in a list style, you can actually do the same thing because tasks can be in multiple projects. And it just as an example here, if you click on the task, the task pops up. You'll notice with this, the task takes up the whole screen, which is why I don't really like using this view. Whereas you saw earlier, when I clicked on a task, you could still see everything on one screen. Now, reason number three, I think Asana is the best project management out there for freelancers and entrepreneurs, deals with the ability to communicate right inside tasks. So to illustrate this, I'm going to come over to Inbox. And Inbox is something that is like a giant activity log for everything that you're connected to. So it will tell you when projects have been completed, if you're following a particular project, and it will also tell you if there's been a comment on a project. So if I scroll down here, someone on my team has commented on the YouTube video ad rank test that we're about to do. So I can click and read through the content, or if I need to respond to the comment, I can click on the actual task, I can scroll down to the comment section and say, hey, and then you can use the at name and type in the team member so that it shows up in their inbox. 
this looks great, let's do it. And then when I click comment, everyone who's following this particular task will be notified that I've put a comment. And this just, it pretty much eliminates all internal email. Using this function inside of Asana, we've cut our internal emails by over 99%. Pretty much we just use email when new people are coming on board and then eventually everyone is able to communicate inside of Asana. It's very, very easy. Asana also has the ability to post updates and communications to everyone on the team. So it makes it very, very easy to do all of your communication inside here and the reason that I like it so much is because conversations are always tied directly to the tasks or projects so we never lose any communication and communication typically doesn't slip through the cracks now this next one might be a drawback for some of you but this is team transparency so I'll go ahead and click on my sidebar here I can click on another team member and then I can see all of their tasks so if you're a team leader or your project lead it's very easy to make sure that you're not overwhelming people and quickly reprioritize some people's tasks if they have been overwhelmed or you need to switch around due dates it's very easy to see everyone here so everyone on my team can do that to me and i can do that to pretty much everyone else on the team as well so i see that as a huge plus because it adds transparency to the workplace and it kind of removes the typical top-down structure and i think it's just a great way to encourage a lot more collaboration. Now, the final reason I think Asana is awesome for you as an entrepreneur, freelancer, or business owner deals with the organization. Now, I tend to be quite OCD and I'm extremely granular with how I like to organize things. And Asana over delivers in this regard. So I'll go ahead and click on my new task here that's onboarding. So what's great is you can have projects and then you can have tasks and you can have subtasks, you can have sections and you can have even more subtasks. So to illustrate just how granular you can get, let's go ahead and go through this template for onboarding a new video editor. So I've done the first part, which is hiring. And now I can see there's a subtask for the actual onboarding process. It's assigned to me, it's due next week. So I can click through to this subtask and now I can see tasks inside of the subtask. So we're in hiring the video editor, we're in the task of onboarding and now we have subtasks underneath that. So we're three tasks deep right now. And as you can see, you can actually create sections inside of your task. So I have set up, then account access, did that earlier today. So I can go ahead and check that off. And then I can go ahead and assign this to myself and say, I need to send this off later today. And now you can see training letter just showed up in new tasks. And so what this really allows you to do as the you know team lead, or if you're looking to get your team to use this, is it keeps the projects very low. So you'll see here, if I go to my project section, all of my projects, with the exception of the demo that I just set up, are for major kind of overarching parts of our business. And then inside of that are tasks and sections. I can show you what our YouTube project looks like. There's different sections and tasks and subtasks allow us to stay extremely organized without having 20 different projects on the side. So for example, one more example here, if we go to, let's say this one, T57, this is the video that I'm supposed to be recording right now. You can see we have sections and then it's assigned, different parts of the video are assigned, designed, assigned to individuals on the team and all of the micro steps that it takes to bring a video to life live on YouTube can be inside of one task. So it's extremely easy and powerful to stay organized with Asana. So if you got some value out of this video, go and hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth demos and reviews just like this one. Make sure you comment below if you have any Asana questions. And as always, keep building the business you love.